In this video, we are going to be learning how to use our data tab to do a bunch of repetitive calculations and how to do stat reg menu in order to get our averages and standard deviations for each of our data sets. In this problem, I need to calculate the molarity for each trial. And then I have a data set A and a data set B, and I have to apply the same calculation to all 12 of these data points. And so I'd really like to use my calculator to help me get through all those calculations quickly. After each data set, I'm going to need to get my average and standard deviation. So the first step is to go here to the data tab. So you push data and then you see what is like a miniature spreadsheet with three columns. In the first column, I'm going to type my masses. And so I can type in 6.2532. And then to get down, I can hit enter. And then I can type in the second data point, And then the third data point, And then the fourth data point. Then I can come back over to list two and I can type in my volumes. Now over here in list three, I want the molarities to appear in list three. So the first thing I need to do is tell my calculator that list three will be equal to a formula. So I hit the data button and then I scroll over to where it says formula and I need to add and edit the formula in that column. So I select add edit formula and now I'm in the equation editor for this column. Now I need to tell my calculator that I need to reference my mass column because that's the first thing in my calculation. So I hit the data button again and you can see that the menu options have changed. I need to reference list one. Then I need to divide by 58.44. Then I need to divide by my data in list two because that's where my volumes are located. So I hit data again, scroll down to list two and select that. Then I multiply by 1000. Now when I hit enter, my calculator calculates my molarity for each trial. And if I needed each of those numbers, I could write them down. But in this particular case, I just need the average. So I'm going to go up here to stat. I'm going to quit this menu. You don't have to quit first, but um, I want my average to be stored as a variable after I'm done. So I'm going to quit first so that I'm brought back out here to the main menu. Now when I hit second and then data, I enter the stat reg distribution menu. I'm going to do one variable statistics because the only column that I need average and standard deviation for is in list three. I need to tell my calculator that I want average and standard deviation of list three. And so my data is in list three. So I scroll over to list three, hit enter. This frequency one is if you had multiple columns with like one column indicating that like a data point appeared twice. But in this case, I don't need that because each data point only appeared once. Then I'm gonna go down here to calculate. And it gives me X with a bar over it, which is my average. And so my average was 6.12139. 2.9. I'd only need like four sig figs for that, most likely. Um, but you can figure that out later. And then moles per liter. And then my standard deviation, I want SX, which has a denominator of N minus one in the calculation. But if you um, are doing some other type of problem, you might need the other, um, the sigma x, which uses a finite population of n in the denominator. So make sure you know which one you need. For this one, 
um, I'm using the SX. So I wrote those down. If I want to use these numbers in the future for other calculations, I can select them and then it brings me back out here to where I was previously, the main menu, and I can store those as a number. But let's move on and type, figure out our molarities and averages for our second data set. I go back to the data tab and the formula for list three is the same, but my data for list one and list two has changed. All I have to do is type over my previous data. And as I retype over my previous data, then it automatically recalculates. If you go too fast, then it might miss a digit that you're typing in because it does take a second as it recalculates. So I have to retype over my molarity, my volumes as well in order to get my molarities accurate. Now it has recalculated my molarities and I can see that they're all in that 5.7 to 5.9 range. Now I can go second, quit, or straight into the one variable statistics, scroll down to list two again, scroll over to list three, which is where my molarities are. Then I can go down here to calculate. And now I have my average is equal to 5.831389 moles per liter. And my standard deviation is equal to 0.12275 moles per liter. And just like last time, if I needed to use these numbers in other calculations, I could store them as a letter and I would pick a different letter. And then all I would need to do is repeat this process for the third data set. But for the sake of time, I'm going to skip that. Um, but let me show you real quick how to clear your data tab. So if I go back to the data tab, of course, it's filled with everything. Um, but then I can just select the data button again. And it brings back up that original menu where we can either choose to enter a formula, clear a formula, or clear data. I want to, I can clear individual lists or I can clear all of the lists. And so I'm going to clear all of them. And voila, it's nice and clean. Hope that helps you get a bunch of repetitive calculations done quickly.